Hi, we're here today at Stitched Up HQ. We've organised an event tonight um, on International Workers' Day because we want to raise awareness of the global garment industry and the problems um, that are um, prevalent um, in, in the industry around the world um, and that are affected by our purchasing habits here in the UK. Um, so we have um, Kalpona Actor here with us today who is a Executive Director of the Bangladesh Centre for Worker Solidarity. Um, she um, has done a fantastic talk for us today and she's going to tell us a little bit now about um, the problems that she faces. Um, so, Kalpona, could you tell us a little bit about the, the biggest issues that you're facing at the moment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. First of all, thanks for having, having me here today. Um, <clears throat> and it is really important to share with the audience who was in here. And the, you know, the if I considered like three... Uh, problem that we are facing in this moment so the one could be the low wages that our workers are getting which is 68 dollars per, per month and you know top of that maybe few bucks more with overtime but it still is a property wages and it is so difficult for uh, workers to live with that money so this is one and second is safety you know uh, safety is a big issue it's like last two years or so we had to experience uh, having around uh, almost 1,500 workers died in the factory fire and collapses. Though we are, uh, we have a Bangladeshi Fire and Building Safety Accord now, and we we hope that, you know, it will make a difference. But it's still it's a problem there. And third is that union voice at workplace, which is really really an important key. Like without uh, without union, you cannot make workers' livelihood change. And workers are really facing a lot of problem with that. Like. And they're being harassing when they start, uh, you know, the day when they start organizing and bidding by the thugs that hire by the factory management. And also they need to face all these falsely criminal charges. So, uh, but we hope that, you know, as we are in a momentum, we can overcome that if we have support from the consumers uh, that has been uh, increased, uh, you know, post Rana situation. So. This is the problem and, you know, I'm here to talk to the consumers and really asking to keep giving their solidarity support. Thank you. And what, and what, can, we, what can we do, sort of, uh, everyone's gone home from the talk tonight really inspired about what you've said. So what could everyone who's been here tonight go home and everyone who's watching this video, what could they go home tonight and do? Mm -hmm. Uh, so the consumers, you know, who are in here, I know they might be from different, you know, jobs, but one common thing they all have, which is purchasing power. They are the consumers. They really can play a big role. And I'm here to tell everyone that the jobs we have for these 4.2 million workers, these jobs are really important for us. But we want these jobs now with dignity. And consumers can really play a vital role to, you know, give us that dignity and the dignity is a living with a safe workplace and a union voice at a workplace and you know the consumers from their own place they can act like ask brands more question that i wanted to know more about these workers to who are making my clothes okay whether they're respected whether they get living wage, okay or whether they ha they have been uh, uh, respected when they were organizing union so that will ma really make difference consumers get can get involved with labor behind the level and your center like stays up and um raise their voice act when it is needed uh in the street or in the store when they need to campaign like the rana plaza compensation one big piece that consumer can really play a vital role on it through online campaign through store campaign through writing letter to the uh, uk government even uh, i think uh and also when we talk about jobs with dignity the consumers can put enormous pressure to the companies uh to add few cents more so our workers can get a decent wage. And in terms of the um, the Rana Plaza uh, disaster, there's a few brands that haven't yet signed the accord, and there's a few brands that haven't paid compensation. So, mm -hmm. which of the brands are there? A few brands that are being targeted at the moment that mm -hmm. we can sort of focus our direct, our energies on. Mm -hmm. So in this moment, I think uh, all the consumers' energies should be focused on uh, to meet the gap for these 2.7 million dollars that we have from this $30 million fund. And we have been targeted, not targeted, I think it is three brands among many 
Walmart, Mango, and Benetton who haven't paid the uh, enough compensation to the fund, and they should uh, continue, you know, contribute more and or contribute their share soon as possible. And consumers really can put pressure onto them through letter writing. Go to their Facebook, make hell out of it. <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway, um, the consumers really can play a big role on it. And in the end, I would say that you know evolve all this campaign, the work we're running, work we're doing, we really need the support and the people who was in here and who are going to see this video, they can contribute, they can donate the better way they know, so we can keep doing so our work. Well, thank you very much, Kalpona. Thanks so much for coming. It's been great to have you. Yeah, thanks very much for having me here. No, you're welcome.